Hi everyone. I want to share with you a few variations that we've been working with in one of my classes with crow pose. Super fun pose, good introductory arm balance. So you'll remember crow pose, coming into your squat. Palms are about shoulder width apart. You want to kind of tuck them back like you're dropping your forearms towards the floor. Your legs go on the back of your arms. You just lean forward, look forward at the same time. And maybe you lift your feet, maybe you don't. That's the general direction that we're taking it. So uh, you want to round the back, you want to look forward. This is a core pose more than an upper body strength pose. That's an easy thing to forget, but it's so important to remember. So we're going to play a little bit with a block today to get the feeling of some of these actions. It can be a little bit scary to lift your feet. It's a little bit of like the unknown out there and you might fall flat on your face. It's one reason we look forward so there's less chance of that. You can also put a big pillow over here just in case. But if you want to get the feeling of lifting up, but you're not quite ready to lift up, you can understand the balance of the pose a lot better. You come onto a block. So do your squat right up on a block. And then when you place your hands and you lean into your upper arms, you don't have to lift the feet. You're already in that balance position. You might even be forward of that balance position. So once you're there, you can lift the feet or not, but you'll already have the sensation of having lifted the feet. So you'll notice this is where my feet are on the block. Without the block, that's about as far as I usually lift my feet anyway. So that's a nice way to start to explore without, uh, you know, going over the edge a little bit. You'll start to develop the musculature, the balance, and the mental space that you need to be able to find that. If you're feeling really good with that and you're ready for a, something a little bit more challenging, this next pose helps you understand how to engage the inner thighs a little bit more. And that will help you really fire up your core so this becomes an easier balance. So hands come down to the mat. You're in your squat. Your block is right between your feet. We're going to lean in like we're coming into crow. Woo, don't drop your block. And you're going to squeeze your block as you lift your feet. As you do that, you might notice you start squeezing a little bit more with the knees as well. Especially for those of you that can't get right up on the backs of your arms. If you're on the outside of your arms, this is an incredibly helpful action to get. Now, some of you would like to explore that, but you're like, no, oh, crow, yeah, my wrists aren't there. And do the same thing in boat pose. So, block between the feet, arms between the legs. Lift your legs, draw your knees towards your armpits, and squeeze the block. And here you are, this is the same posture. Kind of cool, huh? So there are a few different variations that you can work with with your crow pose. I hope you find it helpful and fun, because if practice is fun, you're going to do it a whole lot more. That just makes you feel better. All good. Let me know if you have any questions, or if you have some really cool variations that you like to play with, too. I'll see you next time. Namaste.